Hey everyone, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. It is just art of this time, and... Well, as you may recall from the previous episode, we have beaten Majora's Mask. However, we are very shy on having all the heart pieces. So, while the game itself is over, the 100% collectathon is not. And so, I proudly would like to say that we can resume our adventure in Majora's Mask. Um, by myself this time, so while I will not have the, winty ba uh, the witty banner of, um, of Exotria or the random notations said by BCD113 or the aloofness of Shiroyu or the absence of, well, actually, you know, a demonic presence who hasn't been around for quite a while, um, it's just gonna be me collecting all the heart pieces. Um, and I pretty much know what I want to do in terms of which heart pieces I want to get first. I don't remember them all, though, so I'm actually going to have to rely on you guys to tell me which ones you want me to go get next. Um, again, specifically because of the fact that, um, you know, it's just going to be easier for me, and it'll be helpful for you guys, too, because then you guys will be able to tell me what you specifically want me to go get. Now then, in order to begin our quest, we need some cash, so let's get some cash. Uh, because a lot of the heart pieces that I'm going to go after first are here in Clock Town, and they require that I do some mini-games, so this episode is going to be, well, quite frankly, filled with mini-games. You got some money! That's enough to start us off, I believe. If I need any more, I'll go into the, uh, the secret whatever place. <laughs> you know where the kids are. And I need HP too because it looks as though I'm not doing too good on health. I recall Cave Johnson saved us at one point in the uh, in the ending there, but even so. Uh, speaking of Cave Johnson, um, I'm going to be doing Portal 2 soon as a, uh, a Let's Play. I've already completely recorded the entire thing. Um, so you're going to see that soon, probably directly after we beat Mistcraft, which will be in a little bit of time. Um, again, I don't have an exact estimate on when that's going to be, but soon. And in terms of other news as far as Let's Plays goes, uh, Paper Mario is, well, quite frankly, I have no excuse for it not being out yet, other than the fact that I have yet to animate Parakari's uh, dancing animation for the opening title. That's the only reason why I haven't uploaded it yet. I mean, I have a basic idea for what it is, but I haven't quite done it. Maybe I'll take requests for what I want his animation to be, and see what people want. Although, this is kind of the wrong place to ask for it, you know, with Jurassic Mask and everything. Anyway, let's see. How about it? Will the young one play? One game is 10 rupees. Alright, so, let's see. I believe I haven't done this before. If I have done this before, I'm going to feel like an ass. Anyway, the idea is to simply fly across here and collect all the rupees. Simple, yes. Uh, before the timer runs out. I Well, not before the timer runs out, but before a minute has passed, I think. Um, and I have to come back in here, like, once a day. So we'll be doing this three times in this, uh, in this cycle. Now... The first time it actually isn't that bad. Although the other days it actually can be quite annoying. And yes. The nice thing about this minigame too is that um is that you have to pay ten rupees to do it, but since the minigame itself is about collecting rupees, you can actually get reimbursed on that even if you fail. Not reimbursed entirely, mind you, but a fair bit of the way. So, let's see here. Whoosh, yes indeed. Uh That'll that'll do, I think. And bam. Oh wait, wait, did I just miss the time? Oh, jeez, maybe I was being too slow. It is? I thought Oh maybe it was one minute and thirty seconds, I don't know. Huh, well okay. What my name? It's Link. You're a strange Deku scrub. Right then. Now you may be wondering, where's the heart piece? Well, as I said again, you have to come back here once a day, and on the third day, you will get that heart piece. So there you go, my friends. And now we have even more money to spend entirely on minigames. Hey. 
Yeah. Sorry, I, I, went, uh, I went quiet there for a second, folks. I'm trying to hold back the sneeze. It's the summer air, I think. But then again, they say that the winter is allergy season, so... I guess I'm just allergic all the time to everything that ever existed, ever. Alright, so here's the next minigame we can go to. Uh, this is the treasure chest shop. Uh, we gotta play as a Goron, specifically, so Return of the Fat Man! <laughs> Wanna play? Uh, yeah. And the reason why I'm playing as a Goron is because there's a prize, a different prize for every character, and I believe the Goron is the one who gives you the heart piece. And therefore, it's the only character that actually matters here. So we've got- oh dear. Now, I don't know the way, way through this maze, so unfortunately this is gonna be get a bit of guesswork. No, 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 why, why, why? Calmly, take it calmly. Nice and calmly. No. Okay, I had to hug the far side then? Okay. Oh, come on! Okay, this minigame is dumb. I can't even get out? Oh, come on! Damn it! Alright, let's try this again, folks, and hope this doesn't take too long. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Oh, God, and it's in a different spot, too, so of course the, it's a different maze, so I couldn't be... Okay, so let's hold L this time, and hopefully that'll help us actually see where the hell we're going. Okay. Right, so that's wrong. Wrong. Wrong! Oh, come on! It's right there! Oh! Oh, this mini game. <laughs> Balls. I do not want to edit in a fail montage. Oh, hey, what do you know? It's a different spot. Now it's all the way over there. Okay. Uh, okay, okay. Give, give ourselves some direction here. Now, I would switch to a uh, Link and have him wear the bunny hood, but I don't know if that's considered cheating or not. Of course. Okay, seriously, there is no way to solve this. This is such an irrational. W look, they're, they're just popping up out of nowhere. There is no reason for these to be behaving the way they are. I swear to God, the, the, the maze is actually changing on you. I, oh. Okay, this is not bode well for the future of my minigame adventures here in, in Clock Town. Oh, now it's all the way in the corner. Okay. Alright. Okay. Screw it. I'm gonna wear the bunny hood. I want to see what happens if I if I do it, if she accepts it or not. Oh, come on! Oh, come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! This is literally this. This maze has no... Oh, I can't simply fly over them, too, for that matter. Look, 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 look at this, look at this. I can't even get back. Now 
No. Okay, go on time again. I'm gonna keep trying this until I run out of money. And if that doesn't work, then screw it. I'll go play a different minigame and come back here later. Okay, now it's in the center. Although, it would probably help if I actually put any sort of method into what I'm doing. Let me guess, you're going to be blocked off over here? Oh, wait a second, wait a sec- Oh! Oh, you- you- you cock blocker! Come on, come on, come on, come on! Come on! Come on! Oh wait, hey! There we go. I actually got it. Okay, I actually didn't think I was gonna get that one. Well, okay, that works for me then. You got a heart piece. You've got three. Okay. Uh, there's my HP fill up again. Sweet. No, I didn't. I will never come back here again unless I play this game in the future. It's a good thing I did it on that run, too, because I wouldn't have had enough rupees if I were to try it again. Right then. Uh, let's see. Our next adventure takes us to... Uh, this over here. And, uh, well... Actually, do I have enough money for this? Let's find out. Hey. <laughs> Looks like we have a visitor in the lair. I wonder if it's a customer, darling. <laughs> Ooh, would you like to play? Today is the Bob Chewy Gallery Day, isn't it, darling? <laughs> when, okay, I can pay for this. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. We're lovey dubby. Okay. Now, basically, there are targets on the walls, and you want to hit them with your Bomb Chew. Oh, okay, I didn't think that one would hit. Huh. Notice how the platforms seem to be going up and down, too. And they also seem to be speeding up. And like the uh, the flower minigame from before, you have to come back here once a day and complete three different minigames. Oh god, now it's going faster. Oh, I got one. Let's see if I can beat this one, folks. Oh, balls. Get it, get it, get it! Ooh, wow. Okay. Again, didn't expect to win that one, but I'm happy. I'm perfect. <laughs> Did you see that? Honey, you got a perfect score. We have to share our happiness with them, honey. No, 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 I don't want whatever brand of happen- Oh. Okay, I'll take that happiness. That's annoying, so let's show- Let's show off even more for him, darling. Oh, you guys are disgusting. I don't know how people can do that, just... Just incessantly kiss and hug one another forever. Maybe they're cursed or something? I don't know, is that how relationships work? Just incessantly glouching onto each other for all time, forever. Oh, hi there. I am... not staying the night. We're totally booked, meow. Yeah. Um... Why did I come in here? Uh, I think there's one more minigame I want to do first and I forgot. Uh, and then we'll go back in there for something else, which is, in fact, heart piece related. So let's hop on over to this little shindig over yonder. And we are at the town shooting gallery. If you th <laughs> if you think you can do it, why don't you give it a try, sonny? One game is 20 rupees. <laughs> so this one is self-explanatory. You just gotta shoot the things that come out of the water. Although, this actually is an infamous mini- infamous minigame for- for being particularly annoying in terms of timing. You can only hit the purple ones. If you hit the blue ones, you are dead forever. Ah, I already screwed it up, didn't I? 
I think the first time you don't have to worry about getting a perfect score, but on the second time you actually do. Which is annoying, as anything. Squishy! Hmm. And then when you get settlements like, like that, it's a lot more complicated. Fortunately, the game has graced us with the fact that we uh, don't run out of... Ah. See what I mean? Uh, like, to actually do 100% on this, you actually have to kill them all in one run. Which is actually... You can probably understand how that can be really hard. There we are. Oh, look at that! You had 46! It's a new record. Here you go. And for doing it for the first time, you get a large quiver, which lets you hold 30 uh, arrows, which probably would have helped me out in the fight against Matura in the previous episode. Um, but now I have to do it again in order to actually get the, uh, the heart piece treasure. And again, we'll see how well we do. I'll have to be pretty quick upon my reflexes here. Again, no promises. I'll do what I can. Uh, yes. Be ready, folks. Oh, that was close. Uh-oh. Oh god, I thought I was gonna miss them for a second. Actually, so far, so good. Crap, crap, crap. Oh, well, there goes the perfect score. Uh, and there goes the other perfect score. Damn. I need to have better reflexes on this, apparently. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, crap. I missed you. Blah, blah. As long as you have rupees. Well, fortunately, dude, this is my final amount of rupees I have for this, so if I fail here... Oh, 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 okay, that was close. Then I will leave and come back. No, 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 whoa, okay, that was close. Okay, who's next? I think that last setup was a repeat with a blue one. But I can't quite tell for sure. Alright, next. Ooh, that was close. I almost hit the blue one, actually. Crap, crap, crap. Well, there goes the perfect score. Damn it! You know, some things you can just automatically tell. But, let's see... Oh, crap! Alright, well, that's what happens when you get a blue one. You may have noticed that the score actually goes down, I think, if you get a blue one. I do have enough rubies. Hey, <laughs> hey, <laughs> your lips are enormous. You look like a dork. Right then. Um, in compliance with the next uh, goal that we have in mind here, we have to go back to the stockpot end to get some more heart pieces. And this is where one of the masks that we recently got comes in. This is the All Night mask. You wear it, and then you walk in here to meet an old, uh, well, not you, but an old lady. Oriana. Oh, Tortoise, did you finish helping father? Well, let mother read you a story. Now, which one would you like to hear? Uh, now, we can hear stories, and if we were to listen to them normally without the mask on, we would get so bored that we'd fall asleep. But since the mask prevents us from falling asleep, we can actually go through this. So let's hear about the Carnival of Time. The Carnival of Time, is it? 
The carnival is almost here, so it's good for you to learn the meaning. It's a little long, so I'll read it with some enthusiasm. Ahem. The Carnival of Time! Each year the season of harmony begins with a sudden moon or an alignment. Pray, uh, paying homage to the way that both nature and time tirelessly in the process of progressing. The Carnival of Time is when the- I don't think I read that right. The Carnival of Time is when peoples of the four worlds celebrate the harmony and request for the- uh, Oh, pretty artwork. Terrifying masks, though. Not very original either, they all look the same. Except with different color palettes. For ages, people have worn masks resembling the giants who are all gods of the four worlds. Now it's become custom for each world to bring a hands. Oh, uh, I thought it's a handsome mask. <laughs> uh, it's said that the people coupled with the United the name. Good luck. The centerpiece of the carnival of the clock tower, and on the eve of the festivities, the door to his roof are opened. From atop the clock tower roof, a ceremony to call the gods and attempt the song, so blah. All the festivities of the carnival of time are held so that we may ask the gods for a rich harvest. Blah. Basically, it's a ceremony for good luck. Now then, which the clock tower uh, on the eve of the festival? You did a good job remembering. That's the boy I'm proud of, my boy. And we get this, a heart face. And we've got a new container, I think. And we added our toy notebook. But we can actually get a second heart piece here really easily. Again, the only cost is that we're going to lose a lot of time. The Four Giants, a tale from long ago when the people were separated from the worlds so the way they are now. It's in those times that the people lived together and the Four Giants lived among them. On the day the festival celebrates the harvest, on the day of the festival that celebrates the harvest, the Giants spoke to the people. We have chosen to guard the people while we sleep. The two thousand net storm, ten, uh, ten thousand, one hundred steps north, south, east, and west. If you need us, call us in a loud voice by declaring something as The mountain blizzard has trapped us, or the ocean is about to swallow us. Her cry shall carry to us. Now then, there was one who was shocked and saddened by all this. A little imp. That was a friend of the giants since before they had created the four worlds. Why must you leave? Why do you not stay? The childhood friend felt neglected, but... So he spread his anger across the four worlds, repeatedly he wronged people. Overwhelmed by misfortune, the people sang their song of prayer to the giants who lived to the, each of them in the four cups' directions. The giants heard their cry and responded with a roar. O oh, imp, O oh, imp, we are the protectors of the people. You have caused the people pain. O oh, imp, leave these four worlds, otherwise we shall tear you apart. The imp was frightened and saddened. He had lost his old friends. The imp returned to the heavens and harmony was restored to the four worlds. And the people rejoiced and they worshipped the giants for the four people like gods. And they lived happily ever after. And so the moon fell on them and they all died. Now, wasn't that fun? What did the people do to call the four giants? I think we answer, I don't know. Oh, really? But you listened hard. Some other's happy. I'll give you some candy as your prize. Yeah! And there we are. Now, I, we have lost time. and If you look at the clock, it's already two. Of this, I mean, this is already the second day. So. Oh, hey, it's raining. Um, so I have to go get some more cash before we continue our next adventure, but I believe we're out of time as far as this episode is concerned. So until then, everyone, this is Art of Stay tuned, and good night.